Hey guys and happy new year. It is officially January 2022 and I'm super excited to kick off the new year. So in this video, I wanted to do something not really different, but kind of different for me because I have trouble keeping track of things and like keeping up with things. I bought a journal today at Michael's and so this journal was $10 and I love it because it's wide and it's very thick. So we, we can put a lot of good stuff in here. But I wanted to start a bullet journal and I see a lot of great ideas on TikTok. Um, there's this one person that I'm specifically going off of. They're not my ideas, but I did want to set up my bullet journal with you today. Um, I actually already started because I had the idea to film this video while I was doing it. I was like, this would be a really great video. So let me show you what I've done so far. At the start of my bullet journal, and my bullet journal is actually a little bit different, which I love. It has contents and you can keep track of the colors you're using and what they mean and what they're for, which I love. I wanted to do a year of weather. So this is what I have written so far and I'm super excited to continue. I am going to be limiting myself to these colors or maybe a few other colors like these that I have in my roundabout thing up here. So don't mind my workspace, it's kind of a disaster over here. Here's the video I'm working out. This is her page. It is super nice and like well organized. This is her username, Vanessa's Journal. And I really love her page because it's, it's full of just amazing ideas. So this is the page I'm following, but I had to do another screenshot because I needed, ah, needed this key right here. So this is what I'm going to be kind of making up so I'll probably do like the key up here because it'll be easier to carry it down than it will be to like carry it down here because then I want to do the drawing but it's perfect because I have a little drawing up here and then I'll have one down here so that like balances the page out probably start here how many letters I went three down so one two three something along that. Now I'm gonna erase this because I can still see it. So as you can see on this screenshot, she divided up like the, um, the different weather types like this for one box. So I think to utilize this space that I have here more, I'm going to open it up to um, four points so that the so that the color is bigger so that i can draw these images a little bit bigger um so we're gonna go ahead and plan that out i think this looks good um i'm still debating on whether i should <laughs> whether i should um underline them or not i feel like i should just underline the key it's happening can't turn back now okay that's fine sure let's do a little something weird here I don't know. I see that kind of gives it a little offset. Can't do it on the other side though, but that's okay. Into this whole box here, just because then I'll have enough space to like actually draw the image. Skip one. And then we're gonna do like a cloud. Why did I say cloud like that? That was very interesting. Um, I don't know. Does it look like the cloud is a vampire now? I'm really unsure. That's not a bad lightning strike. I can't tell what that is. Does that mean windy? Um, I'm gonna go with that, that that means windy. Like this, right? And then like whoosh. I'm just gonna write windy. Ooh, I should write like what it means on the side. But then what am I gonna do here? I have to counteract and I can do like a bullet and then write, so like write sunny. Oh my god, y'all. That'll look so freaking cute. Like, thunderstormy? That's what we're gonna go with. Thunderstormy. So I'll draw the rainbow. And so, I don't have snow where I live, like, at all. Like, there won't be a chance, you know? I live in Florida, and there's no chance of snow reappearing here. So, what I'm gonna do 
is first I'm gonna do this last one here which is like kind of stormy but like at the same time it's like good I'm trying to think of like what weather is here that's like I think this is pretty much it you guys should I just add snow for shits and giggles like I mean there won't be any snow but I can add it you know what I'm just gonna add it I am just going for it so this is what we have going on so far. I think it looks really good and really bold. Um, I don't wish for anything to be different other than this thunderstorm, maybe over just a letter or two, um, but I think it looks good. Now I'm gonna kind of go back and color these in, but I'm gonna color them in with colored pencil um, just because I think the markers will end up looking a bit muddy. Plus, I do have really good markers, but I think they'll bleed like crazy, and I don't want to deal with that. So I think this is the best case scenario. And then I'm going to have a heck of a time kind of trying to figure out how I'm going to label these. To color that in, I'm going to be using my absolute favorite colored pencils by Castle Arts. Um, I really love these because they're such a huge variety. Uh, you'll probably see me using these quite often in my videos but just wanted to let you know these are my absolute favorite and then these are obviously Crayola. So that is them colored. I absolutely love it. It adds a whole new level of just put togetherness what <laughs> sunny as orange like lightning and thunder to be this blue lightning I could do yellow because actually I'm gonna do thunderstorm and rain to be yellow because I feel like this is actually pretty common in Florida um, so I'm gonna go ahead and give that a color in which I actually use for the kids and get some because I know I won't have enough for all of them separate markers or I'm gonna do rainy because it's actually pretty common for it to be raining in Florida, especially during our hurricane season. Windy. Light green for lightning. So I can just pick a random color for this. I feel like I should do this color, but I already have pink and red and those are already really similar. But I'm actually gonna take this marker and dot it like that because it looks like snow so if a box looks like that then it was snowy there perfect all right now I'm going to go onto the calendar on my cell phone and I'm going to block in down here because um, obviously not all months have 31 days this is the final result I am extremely happy with it um, I only wish that I had a more array of colors here, but I think it turned out really nice. I'm going to fill these in because it is already the 2nd of January. So yesterday it was sunny and today it was sunny. So I'm just going to color both of those in to be orange and then we can move on. Happy, energetic, focused or productive, tired, low energy, angry, anxious or stressed. All right, let's do it. That way I can show you like how I set up my thing. It's like my mood tracker. So should we do like a year of emotion? I'm gonna probably do like a year of emotions and then do like emojis to kind of decorate. All right, so I did that. I love the way that came out. At first, I was gonna kind of do it like the way I did a year of weather, but then I thought it would be nice to kind of have something just a little bit different. I did two emojis on the side. Now I'm going to do this in time lapse, and then we will do the key together. So for this one, I did freehand most of this, 
Um, I usually never know if it'll be a good idea or a bad idea until it is all done. Um, for this case, I thought it was somewhere in the middle. Perfect, I love that. All right, let's erase it now <laughs> so that we can write over it. So that's what the word looks like. Not the hugest fan of the Y, and now I'm kind of messing it up live right now. Yep, all right, well, it is what it is. So we are gonna do these same emotions. It to look crowded, that, and then the bullet will go here. And then, actually, I feel like I should move it over a little bit just so I have room for the emoji. I have the square, which is gonna be the color. I'm gonna have the circle, which is gonna be the emoji. And then I'm gonna write in cursive so we can bring that a year of into the mix of what the emotion is. So now I'm gonna skip a line and go down. Energetic. Okay, I mean, it's a little like shaky, but it's not that bad. All right, this circle, this circle is gonna be it. And I messed up again. OMG. Wow. This is not going great. Well, I am angry that I messed up. How perfect is that? Before we do the emojis and stuff, I'm going to figure out the colors. So happy, I feel like, should be yellow. I'm just going to fill this in now. Yesterday, I was happy. Um, and, oh, actually, I want to add another one relaxed because I feel like there's just a day where you're just kind of chilling and going with the flow and you're not doing anything relaxed slash chill focused and productive um, why don't we do this one because I know this one should be blue tired and low energy should be blue common right Anxious or stressed, I feel like should be purple. I don't know, I just feel like some colors have like a feeling. I don't know if you understand what I mean, but like when you see yellow, you're happy. When you see red, it's usually related to angry. When you see blue, it's usually related to tired or relaxed. Okay, so focused and productive, we can do orange, relaxed and chill, we can do green. Happy is really simple, I'm just gonna do a happy face. All right, so there is my A Year of Emotions. I am actually obsessed with this page. I can't believe it turned out this good considering all of the mistakes, but I feel like if I point it out, you can't really tell unless you're kind of like going down the line. But I really love the overall outcome and I'm very excited that I finally finished these two pages. So I remember that I found a theme that I really love and it's this one and it's by Lindsay's Journals. And I really love the way this one came out. Um, I think it's super cute and I love it. So I'm gonna go ahead and have this be like my overall design. So I'm gonna pick out, cause I think I'm gonna design it with colored pencils. So I'm gonna kind of sketch this out um, and then I'll be back when it's time to color it in. All right, so I kind of started with the dots, um, but basically I'm gonna be doing like hanging I got a little close here, but I think it'll work out. Um, so now I'm just gonna do this over here too. I think this will end up being super cute, especially when it's all done. And now I'm gonna go in with the pen and I'm gonna connect all of the dots. I'm gonna kind of see here like what I'm going for. Oh, there were some willy nilly dots too. So I just finished that. Um, I finished with the stars. Not a huge fan of them, but I also really like them because I like how they kind of look like a rusty kind of hand-drawn look. I'm not gonna push down hard at all. I'm just gonna do some kind of spiral shading because I always feel that um, the outcome always looks best when it's like light with like a nice dark outline. I don't want to color over items like this because even if you go over it just so slightly, it will make the yellow not bold at all or the orange. So you just kind of want to take your time and go around it. Um, and because we're human and we're not perfect, you are going to accidentally run into it a few times and then you'll see why you're doing it. Because if you go over the whole thing, it's not going to look good. 
Um, I promise you. <laughs> this page is now done. I'm going to grab this marker and I'm going to do a little dot by the days that have gone by. All right, so I set my journal aside for a moment because I wanna figure out what I wanna do on these pages. Do my habit tracker, do a highlight of the day. Keep track of JG orders, movies slash TV shows rating. I think I'm gonna do working out. Ooh, I know what I wanted to do. The YouTube. I really have to work on my water drinking because that is not good. And I'm making my bed. Oh, something I need to do. Uh, this may make no sense to you. Calcium pill. <laughs> I know this seems stupid, but I really need to actually like not be lazy. And I need to do, because um, the, the way I do my pill is just very confusing. I'm not even going to try to explain it. But it's, I just, I definitely need to work on doing my calcium pill um, for the AM orange um, I'm gonna make them like really thick bubble letters up here um, and then I'm gonna do tracker like off to the side habit tracker all right so now I'm gonna just thicken up a few lines now I'm going to kind of make habit pop a little more oh forgive me I got caught in the moment but this is what it looks like now um, at least I didn't write the habits in without you um, but I'm going to go ahead and color these in. Um, I really love the way this is turning out because it really does look like the cover. But I do have to color in the clouds and I do have to color in the stars. Alright guys, so it is done. <laughs> we still have to fill in these blanks and then we can fill out the habit tracker and then we can go right on into the highlight of the day. So the first one I wrote working out but I'm going to change it to bike ride slash gym because that is what I do. Um, I bike ride five miles every single day, believe it or not. <laughs> um, almost every single day. We're going to see, right? So I'm going to write bike ride slash gym. And I'm going to write it in lowercase letters in my normal handwriting. No special font am I going to try to imitate. Water drinking. I'm making my bed. Calcium. And then in parentheses, I'm going to write AM. I think it looks pretty good. The clouds are a little splotchy, but I mean, that's kind of what you get when you you know, use color pencil. All right, now we're going to go on to the highlight of the day, which is my absolute favorite one to do. Four, five, six. Well, that worked out well, didn't it? All right, so now I'm gonna write in the word. Oh, it doesn't look terrible. And then we'll do a line and I'm gonna do a little crystal or sparkle and then I'm gonna do a moon. I think I'm gonna do another small one up here with another small one. So I decided to do this with the word highlight. I like how it came out just a tad bit on the sloppy side but I mean it works for me. Um, so now I'm going to space out 31 days. So we have run into a little pickle with the grand title. <laughs> um, it only goes up to 28. So I don't know, I was thinking of carrying 29 to 31 up here, but then again, I can't do that. Um, so yeah, we only, which honestly is not that terrible, but we're only gonna have to do like highlight of the day up till 28. Um, so that kind of sucks, but I still love the title. Now you can tell why I love these pages. I love them. They are super colorful. Now we are going to do my business orders. So I really don't know how I'm going to set this page up. So, um, we actually have a stamp. That's how official we are. And I want that to be like the title. I kind of find the center before I put it down. Off. Oh, I just scuffed it. Damn it. Oh. Oh. Let me okay, deal. With I kind it. of penciled in the rest. Um, that kind of makes me actually really disappointed. And. Believe it or not, that actually went through my mind that it's not flat, so it's not going to turn out right. 
perfect. That's exactly how I pictured it. So orders for 2022. Oh, it is. Yay, Jamie. So this is how this page is looking. I really like it. Um, just that smudge is really kicking me off and I hate that smudge. Um, I'm not gonna write in all of the orders just in case that I don't get this many in January, which I probably won't, but this is just what kind of fit perfect. So I'm just going to fill out like the first box. So for this page, I was thinking I could do like the whole calendar of January and then have Saturday be like specially colored. Um, I think that would look really nice. Well, I suck. I thought I had it on time lapse, but I guess I didn't. But this is how the YouTube page came out. I really like it. Um, so what I'm gonna do is every time that I do post, I'm going to circle it. Um, that is what I think I'm going to do, um, or I may just put a check mark. I really haven't decided yet, but I know that I wanted to do this X or check mark if I post it or not. So that's what I'll do. So no, I did not post on the first and today is the second and I'm filming to post on the eighth. And it was by the creator Vanessa's journal. Um, I love that idea. So that is what I'm going to be doing. So I wanted to do kind of like a lowercase font for this page. Um, so I wrote movies and TV shows. So they are two boxes high and four boxes wide. I just want to show you what I'm doing instead of stars. Even if I wasn't as tired as I am right now, I am not going to draw little stars. I'm not going to do that because I have a lot of movies that I'm going to be putting here. Um, so I just did circles, which work perfectly fine. So how many circles did I enjoy it? I think that'll, that'll work. So I just want to show you that this is what it'll look like. God, my arm is like dead now. This is the page, and I actually watched a movie last night that I want to rate, and it's called No Escape on Netflix, and I rate it five circles out of five circles. <laughs> it's, it was really good. I'm gonna do a little red N at the top, just to note that it is Netflix, and then I'm going to give it five orange circles. So overall, this took me a good three hours. Um, God, I am so tired. All right, here are the first two pages we did. A year of weather, which we already filled out, and a year of emotions. I'll give you a moment to look at it. Next page, we've got this, January. I left this page blank just because I can. I'll give you a moment to look at it. Next, we've got our habit tracker and highlight of the day, which we also filled out. I'll give you a moment to look at it. And then the next page, we did JG Teddy Co. Orders of 2022. And if I post it on YouTube for the Saturdays, I'll give you a moment to look at it. Next, which is the final page, is we did movies and TV shows, and I'll give you a moment to look at it. I think that looks much better because it kind of ties in with the whole theme of the month of January. But thank you for watching, and I will see you guys next Saturday with a new video. Bye.